and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm doing a Madden 20 lineup update. I picked up quite a few things. Now, the lineup's going to look kind of weird because I have been switching out a lot of power passes to do gameplays. And I'm currently, I still have Dalvin Cook ready for the gameplay that I will probably be posting tomorrow. So, in that case, it's going to look a little weird for my running back and my safety because I have to take a bunch of power passes off. But I will reiterate what they should have been anyway. So, don't really worry too much about that. But. Yeah, there's been a lot of power pass movement, but I think I have up to like 399s on the team now. We're going to see how that works out. And if I just get one more John Madden cam, I'll be a lot higher in terms of where my team's going to be. But I do need one more John Madden collectible before I can finish off one of my cam boosts. You, you guys should already know what I'm talking about. But guys, before we get into the video, make sure to go below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on, bub boys. Come join family. The giveaway's still going on. All I got to do is like the video, comment down below the number of like you are, and subscribe to the channel. And from shit. Now let's get into the video. Let's head over to the lineup. Starting off at quarterback. Quarterback actually is fine. We didn't have to touch him. We have Patrick Mahomes around 99. Now originally my initial goal was always to have Lamar Jackson as the end game quarterback, but never really panned out because his LTD card goes for like three million coins. And when he gets a Redux card, I may pick him up if he goes to the right price. But even with a Redux card, he probably still doesn't go for like 800 to a million coins. And Patrick Mahomes free for me. Nah, I got him. Well, wasn't exactly free. I got him, but I did actually just want a Patrick Mahomes giveaway, so I'm gonna have two of them now. So I can probably get rid of this one and keep the other one that's going to be Nat. But for the most part, quarterback's pretty solid. I might end up just keeping Mahomes for the whole year. Haven't decided yet. It really just depends on how good Vic is and how cheap Lamar Jackson is. It really just comes down to those two things. Now, coming over to halfback, we got this is where things look kind of weird. So we have Dalvin Cook 99, we have Barry Sanders, and we have Bo Jackson. We have three running backs and Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley is really 99 overall. I took his power pass off to finish Dalvin Cook for the gameplay, but this isn't going to be my running back, guys. I have Saquon Barkley now. You guys are probably wondering. I had Eric Dickerson and Saquon Barkley. I did make it pretty clear to you guys. I do prefer to have Saquon Barkley. I think he's better than both Eric Dickerson. Now, Dalvin Cook so far, I've tried him out a few times. He's super solid, but I don't think he's as good as Saquon is. So I'm probably going to end up sticking with Saquon over Eric Dickerson and Dalvin Cook, of course. But I just got to get the gameplay recorded, post that for you guys, and put it back on him. But Saquon is my 99 overall running back that I will be sticking with probably for most of the year, if unless something crazy comes out. Now, let's go over to wide receiver, or let's go over to wide receiver, guys. Fullback, I have Corey Schlesinger. Very, very, very boring. You guys don't need to see that. I need to really upgrade that. I've had that since the free house rules months ago. Now, we got Tyreek Hill, Torrey Holt, Calvin Johnson. So, Tyreek Hill, 98 overall. Torrey Holt, 98 overall. Calvin Johnson, 98 overall. The reason I have my lineup like this is because Tyreek Hill's my speedy burner guy, my little short guy. Torrey Holt's my route runner, and Calvin Johnson's my deep my Calvin Johnson's everything. He can do short routes, deep routes, medium routes, jump balls, high points. It's pretty much everything. He's kind of like a tight end type fast build. So these are the three that I'm probably going to rock with most of the year. Calvin's going to be my team the rest of the year. So is Torrey Holt. Tyreek Hill might be the only one that gets exchanged because he's just a speed guy. Although his stats are a lot better on this card. It really depends on if I keep him or not based on what else comes out. Then come over to tight end. we got Tony Gonzalez, Jared Cook, and George Kittle. So right now we got Gonzalez, but Gonzalez is great and all, but he is starting to feel a lot slower as cards start upgrading. So I do want to pick up a new tight end at some point, but I want a speedy guy, and right now the only one's Waller, and I really don't think Waller's other stats are good enough to kind of validate upgrading him or spending all that money on him. But I do want to upgrade Kittle all the way too, so it's probably my tight ends. I want to end up having Kittle as a run blocker slash tight end guy, a catcher, with another tight end. Now coming over to left tackle. Coming over to left tackle, we've got Walter Jones. Super solid left tackle, guys. He's going to be end game for me. Got to just power him up at some point, but stats are amazing. Now coming over to left guard, we do have... Bruce Matthews. Now, this is this is a big issue on my team. I really got to upgrade this left guard. I'll probably end up picking an ultimate legend, Bruce Matthews, when he comes out. If I don't think he's come out yet, right? Probably end up picking up a new Bruce Matthews. And that's pretty much it through there. Got to wait for him to come out. Then I said we need, a, we need a new center. Travis Frederick is not, not doing it. I can feel it already. I've had a lot of issues running the ball. Still doing pretty fine considerably, which is kind of weird. But I definitely want to upgrade. His run blocking is still good, so he's not the biggest uh, issue there. But it's kind of when I'm pass blocking, it just hasn't been it for me. I'm not sure who to upgrade to yet. I'm kind of just waiting for another uh, Ultimate Legend one. Right guard, Zach Martin. I'm probably going to end up powering him up. He might end up being in game for me. It really just depends on... It really ends up just... It just ends up depending on who comes out after him. Because powered up and chemmed up, I can get him close to all 99s, which is going to be super solid. And then at right tackle, we do have Lane Johnson. Now, this is another issue. Lane Johnson is not great at all. He gets destroyed off that right side. I really need to upgrade him. Now, I could get his new one. 
but I kind of just want to wait for a much better Ultimate Legend because Lane Johnson always has worse um, blocking stats because he has better athleticism stats. So that always makes up for his overall a little bit, which I've noticed a lot more in the recent years. Now going over to the left end, we got Michael Strahan, 95 overall for the Giants. I might just wait for an Ultimate Legend version of him, power him up, call it a day. It really depends. I do have him nat, so I really like the most cost-efficient way to go about it. Right end, we got Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald's end game, guys. He's end game. I don't think I'm gonna upgrade him for the rest of the year, unless he gets like a golden ticket or something, which I doubt. But he has 99 power move, 97 finesse move, great athleticism, great strength, great block shed. Super happy with Aaron Donald. He's. I like to put abilities on him, guys. In my opinion, I like putting them on my ends or my outside linebackers. And right now, Aaron Donald's been killing it. Defensive tackle might have to upgrade here. I have Geno Atkins as free, and so do I have Ed Oliver Jr. as free too. Geno Atkins is decent. I do want to upgrade him to like a Warren Sapp, but I'm waiting for the price to come down. I really don't like buying defensive tackles. Left us on linebacker. Von Miller has been on my team since the first week of Madden. Trust me, I don't like this. I don't like having him here. I'm sick and tired of getting burnt because I always have him in zone coverage. But I just haven't seen a guy that's worth upgrading and powering up over him that can play where I want. I want a zone guy there, and I just haven't found a guy that I really like. But I guess at this point, I should have got one a while ago because I'm never going to find that. Middle linebacker, we got Shazier and Devin Bush. Now, Shazier and Devin Bush, I have them because they're free, and I really think they play well. Now, could I use a little bit more speed at this point? Probably, but they're about as fast as it gets, so you really can't. I think middle linebackers, there's going to be a bunch of a wave of them coming out soon, like Willis, Lanier, and potentially like Lewis. So, I'm waiting on all those guys. I'll probably end up ending with Shazier and probably Ray Lewis on my team or Willis, just waiting on them. Right as the linebacker, Lawrence Taylor's end game as well. Going to have him for the rest of the year. The only thing with him is I'm waiting for his brand new Ultimate Legend card, probably coming in the next few weeks. His next card is going to have close to like 97 speed, 97 excel, 99 power move, 99 finesse move. He's going to be crazy good. So I'm just waiting for that card. Once I get that card, he's locked in on my team. Well, he already is, but his final card will probably be the last upgrade there. Now, as far as cornerbacks go, I plan to end the year with Night Train Lane, Deion Sanders, and probably Champ Bailey. So I got to get the new Night Train Lane theme diamond, but that's way too expensive right now. So I'm waiting on that. And then Deion Sanders, of course, is where I'm going with the next one. But I need to upgrade as well. And then Mel Blunt, I have him because he's not, but I don't think I'll end up keeping him. I do want to get Night Train Lane in the slot, or Champ Bailey in the slot, I should say. So that pretty much wraps up the cornerbacks there. And then coming over to free safety, we have Sean Taylor, which is actually endgame. If he gets an Ultimate Legend, even better. But right now, that speed, excel, zone, man, hit power combo. I'm fine with that for the rest of the year with six foot two height. But if he gets another upgrade, I will definitely make sure to get it. But for the time being, I have no problem keeping him where he is. And then a strong safety, we do have, let's see, let's see. We have Pat Tillman and Troy Palomalu. Now, Troy Palomalu, again, another guy that's really a 99 overall. But you have to see that he is unpowered up right now because I took his power pass off him to throw it on to another player that I was doing gameplay with. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to toss it back on him. So he's, just, he's a 99 overall on my team. So in the thumbnail, he's going to be 99. But here he does not show up because here he's only going to be a 96. But I got to power him back up. And then I have Pat Tillman as a backup, which he comes in a lot on a lot of schemes that I have in a lot of formation. So it really doesn't really matter. And then coming over to kicker, he has, let's see, let's see. We got Justin Tucker. I got to upgrade him. His kick power is not doing it anymore. I definitely want like Zane Gonzalez, but I've been waiting for the price to come down. It just doesn't make sense for me to spend so much on a kicker, especially in a meta where people rarely actually use their kickers and punters. And then a punter, we got Treyway and J.K. Scott. I only kept J.K. Scott because I saw him in real life. And Treyway, I've had him all, I've had him for two straight years, basically on my team. I have not changed that. Pretty much it, guys. That wraps up pretty much the lineup update. Covers the majority of the team. Going to show you guys what my team looks like put together. Again, the offense and everything's messed up right now until I put my Saquon back in and I fixed Trey Palomalu. But for the most part, team looking super solid. Kind of, if I make a few upgrades across the line, my offense should go up to like a 97 overall. And if I make a few upgrades in the linebacking core and then put Palomalu back, it should be a 97. My team should be about a 97 overall when everything's all fixed, said, and done. But guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to enter the giveaway. All you got to do is go down below, like the video, comment down below the number like you are, and subscribe to the channel. I want you to do all those things you're interested to win. Good luck. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. And guys, the Dalvin gameplay should be coming tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. I just didn't have time today with school and work-related schedule. So hopefully I can get this out for you guys by tomorrow. Edit it up. Get it all done. But that's about it, guys. Don't forget to enter the giveaway and check out the other video, which should be a Budget Bees video at some point today. I'm out. Peace.